Hi, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about this lovely cardigan that I have knit. And I've been getting so many comments on how to knit this. As I mentioned on uh, my previous uh, uh, video of describing the yarn that I'm going to be working on. So I have started from top. I cast on total of, I wrote it down here, total of 96 stitches. This can fit, it depends on how bulky you want it, if you, it can fit large to three extra large. I'm a three extra large, as, as you can see it, perfect, it fits perfect for me. And um, so I am sharing you this, me, this uh, measurements and the stitches and how to knit it. And I will put the links on how I did, I did the tutorial on how to knit top down. So, okay, and these are the sleeves. And I'll just show you. I did pearl. I knitted two sides. And I create this uh, stitch. Okay, when you, write, when you knit the wrong side, it gives you that same, but when you knit this side. You have to knit two sides and purl think, to create that stitch. Okay, so I have cast on total of 96 stitches and I have increased on both two stitches here, 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 and here. And I do have a tutorial on how to do a short row. So to give this uh, height on the back, I will put that link as well because uh, it's time consuming and I don't want to go over it to show you, but I do have tutorials on how to knit short rows on a top-down cardigan when you're knitting a cardigan, a shrug, or a bolera. So I do have that link. I will put that link as well. I did short row and as you can see, it gives that height on the back. And when you wear it, it's uh, it's more comfortable. And other than that, I have knit total, I think it was ten and a half. I'm not counting this uh, border, this neck area. So I have knitted about ten inches. Well, if you measure it from the back, it's ten inches. But if you measure it, I would measure it at from the back. It's way ba way easier. So what I did is I measured it from the back because I did the short row, right? Because I don't want it longer than enough. So I knit it about 10 inches down. Just like this. Just 10 inches. Do nothing. Continue increasing on these four sides. Okay, here's my little chart that I have done and I'll show you 17 from the front 17 from the other front one stitches and then you increase from uh, the two sides and I will link that tutorial on how to increase I have tricks how to increase so it doesn't give you that lacy that whole look so it's uh, nice and looks nice so one inches on two sides where we increase 12 is the sleeve area this area sleeve area again one stitch here and then we increase on two sides and the back is 34 stitches okay so 96 stitches total I'm sure that's how it adds up to <laughs> should add up to that amount so 17 17 front 12 stitches both the sleeves are 12 stitches and then you increase I, I don't count when you have how many stitches on here but I count when I'm doing the sleeve area and I will give you that measure that stitches as well and what I do is when I knit all the way 10 inches long I divide the body parts the body parts where what, what I divide is uh, the the link that I will sh uh, put on here I show you how to do that. So to divide the body parts, I put I put uh, the stitches on one uh, 
circular needle or you have a if you have a stitch holder you can do that and I put this and I continue knitting knitting knit 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 and I notice well I had total of eight skis eight balls of yarn right so eight balls is hundred gram each about four ounces so I just wanted to have enough yarn to knit so what I did is I stopped here somewhere and I knit it okay and I counted I had 95 stitches on the sleeve around either you can do seamless I forgot to do that seamless is way better <laughs> but I, I just lost track so I, I sewed it up later on if you want to do seamless that's no problem at all and with 95 stitches I started to decrease I'll show you I started to decrease I start to decrease. I don't have a written pattern, so please don't ask me. You can write what I'm ex explaining to you. Like, I don't have the time to write patterns, edit them, send it to professional. I really don't have that because I have so many projects that I'm trying to knit and use my stash. Okay, so let's go back. So I decreased, decreased 22 stitches. So what, what, what I did is I knitted about 12 rows. And I decrease from one and to another. So it's two stitches. If you're doing seamless, just decrease two stitches, knit three together, and you, you will get rid of the two stitches. And knit another ten rows. Again, decrease two stitches. So continue decreasing ten rows, like ten go back. Go back and forth just count the V's you should have 10 so I did that total of 11 times and I decreased 22 stitches okay so when I came to the cuff I, I had plenty of uh, plenty of stitches I just want to show you it depends on which yarn you're using so this is a worsted yarn and 95 stitches is about 16 inches around your bicep the largest area so it's, it fits perfect on my bicep but I noticed these parts are uh, larger so uh, just measure it while you go because uh, instead of knitting knitting um, 10 rows I could have done eight rows and then decreased so I would have less stitches so you can play around with that so uh, yeah and uh, the cuff I had total of um, I believe 42 stitches here on my cuff here so I decreased before I started this as this I decreased total of 10 stitches I just knit, knit two three together as you can see here so I did knit three together about 10 times and I got rid of uh, 20 stitches so total I had 54, 53 stitches here when I bind off and that's all to it. It's a lot of knitting, especially if you're knitting a plus size. So I used up one ball of yarn here and a little bit of the other ball yarn and I used the total ball, one ball of yarn here and I had a little bit. So I continue knitting with that little bit left over and another extra ball and uh, I noticed uh, I wanted to knit the edges and when you knit these two same side you use up lots of yarn so I saved the extra ball to knit the edge okay I forgot to mention before I show you that what I did is I did some decrease as you can see as you can see the cardigan is not going down straight so I did some increases yeah I did some increases and they're very hard to see <laughs> where did I did them yeah it was from the underarm underarm usually when I'm knitting a shrug I start to decrease but this is going to be a cardigan right so I didn't decrease anything and here about knitting a knitting the ball that I had and one full ball here I started to increase so I added just like increasing on the on the yoke here I did the same thing 
same method. I increased one part and I increased the other, so I did increase two. I increased another two stitches here, and I increased another two stitches. So I did it three times. I did it under the two underarm, the two underarm, and I did one on the back, just in the middle. So uh, for three spots, three times, I did a, I did an increase. Okay, I'm going to repeat this again. So I increased after knitting, uh, let's say, about going straight down, doing nothing, about 10 inches. Just grab that phone, just one moment. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so like I said, just under the underarm, uh, I started to increase three times. Depends on your body. If you have a bigger like stomach, you can start increasing here, or you can add more than three. I added three on one row. So and it turned out perfect on me, mine. And I used up all of the yarn, and I knitted. I picked up stitches along. Along. This is for a crew neck or a round neck. Okay. So I picked up stitches all the way up to the neck area and I went back and forth back and forth and I did the same on the other side before I did that I made buttonholes can you see my buttonholes I like I like to put two buttonholes because sometimes when it's cold like I like to have my neck area closed but sometimes when I get the highs uh, the heat so I just open it, right? So I put an extra buttonhole here, and I'll show you. So um, what I did is I counted 15 stitches, and I just made a buttonhole, and I'm sure you know how to make a buttonhole. I just go yarn over, knit two stitches. When I come back, I knit the whatever I did the yarn over, I knit, knitted that, and that creates this hole. And your, if your button is smaller, don't do a yarn over. Just pick up a stitch and this hole will be smaller. That's my other uh, secret technique that I do. Because of these buttons are being big, I did a yarn over. But usually I don't. Because uh, if I'm working with small uh, buttons, it gives you that smaller uh, hole to create. So I did every... Uh, I did... Uh, button holes every 15 stitches. I just measured it and here I left it Okay, I just left this little bit area, but if you don't want to leave it You can just measure it and then make your buttonholes. And I continue knitted about three more rows and I bind it off Okay Just like this And I did the same thing on this side, but no buttonholes and when you're sewing up, another trick that I can show you, when you're sewing up, what I do is I measure these two sides, just like this, and I put the needle in that middle of that hole, and I just start sewing it. It's a trick that I do. I don't know. Everyone does it differently. That's my trick. And after I have knit this uh, border, I picked up stitches all the way around, and I did not have enough yarn, Believe me, believe it or not. Eight, I used up all of the eight balls and I just had about like this long left like I did the chicken yarn <laughs> I just had this left and I weaved it all the way I weaved it I came down and I weaved it so if I had a little bit more yarn maybe I could have done three more rows to give that height but other than that it turned out perfect and I used eight of those balls but if you ask me again if I knit the same thing, I would do my sleeves tighter because it is pretty comfortable, but I like tights. And uh, the, the body parts, as you can see on the picture, it's perfect. It's tight and cozy, and I had a long sleeve uh, uh, sweater inside me, so it was nice. In the winter, it would be perfect. So this is how you knit this gorgeous cardigan. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the button. Oh, sorry about that. So when I, as soon as I bind off, I bind it off, uh, picked up stitches. I did, I think I knitted five, I knitted three stitches and I knit two together. 
and I did a yarn over because the buttons are being big, right? And I went back and I continue knitting both sides. And this is how you do the buttonhole. You just button it. Okay, so this is how you knit it. It's a, it was a just short tutorial on how for you to knit. And I do have uh, tutorials on how to knit not to, uh, top down with the short row. I will put the links below. And it's very and simple. So if you are a large size, extra large, two extra large, three extra large, these are the numbers that you would knit with. 96 stitches, 17 17 stitches here, 17 stitches, one stitch is on the, on the increase, 12 stitches for the sleeve, 12 stitches, again I'm repeating, and then 34 stitches. Okay, I, I am very disappointed. I get comments like you talk too much in Spanish, I don't know, in other languages. It's rude. If you don't like how I explain, then don't watch it, please. It's really rude. You talk too much. Well, I have to talk to explain what I'm doing, right? So it doesn't make sense. So please, I just remove those comments. It's not nice. It just, uh, you know, puts you down. <laughs> okay, the reason I'm knitting is I don't want to be down. I want to be happy. And I was so excited when I put this on me. I'll show you again the stitches. And the sleeves are 95 stitches here here and I'll measure I did measure and I will put those pictures as well so it's about 23 inches flat down 20, 23 so it's about 46 47 the boost area so uh, if you and the needles that I used is the needles, I played around with the needles. Yeah, I want to point that out. So on the yarn, it's the recommendation is to knit with four millimeter needles. I did that. Okay, I did that all the way here. And I, I changed my needles. I played around with it. The reason is because it's getting down. And when it's getting down, because of your uh, waist and your... Uh, Oh, it gets bigger, right? The down it comes, as you can see, it gets wider. So I changed the yarn, uh, the needle size. I think I went up to five around here, and I increased. So I increased, increased the needles like slowly, not at once, as you can see, and it looks so nice. And I like this technique. So instead of uh, increasing stitches which I only did here I did three times three stitches here on one on the back and one on the underarm and then uh, I believe ten ten rows later I did another increase and then, then ten rows later I did another increase instead of increasing so many I just changed the needle size and uh, I uh, yeah and I think it turned out pretty good I really like it if you want to buy it, I'm going to put it on Etsy. If it's not sold, I'll wear it. <laughs> but I, I, uh, I planned it to knit it for myself, in which uh, I love it, how it turned out. So this is how you knit this lovely cardigan. I just wanted to point it out because I've been getting lots of comments. I showed it on the, the pr uh, previous tutorial uh, on the explaining how to knit the yarn, uh, how to knit no, what is this yarn about, I think? About Abigail, that she uh, sponsored the six skins of uh, yarn. I do uh, thank her. Thank her very much. Yes, so uh, this is Superwash Merino Wool. It's very squeezy, squishy. It's very nice. It's very nice. And I noticed it was pretty hot yesterday and I wore it. It doesn't give you that heat, that warm feeling. It gives you that cozy. My husband said, why are you wearing it? It's hot. I said, it's, it's comfortable. <laughs> so um, I will link you the, uh, the, the short row to, to give you this nice, uh, nice crew neck area. Okay. I forgot to mention, 
I did nine ridges. So I count a total of nine bumps on the cuffs. And I did nine on the edges. And I did nine on the on the border, on the two sides. And I believe I did on the neck area one, two, three, four, five. Five ridges on the neck area. Like I said, if I had enough yarn, I would knit three more. Or make it, made it even nine, but I didn't have enough yarn. So I used up all of the 800 gram of yarn that I had. Okay, here are the yarn that I was talking about on my previous uh, tutorial. And uh, I skinned, I, I, I made them a cake, cake balls. <laughs> from uh, from uh, skins that I had like these. These are bulky super merino soft yarn. So I'm going to be starting the tutorial SEP. I got an order so I, I will work on that and it's going to take time for me. I, I'll, I will I, maybe I'm going to make a couple of uh, videos. First how you to, first to show you how to knit the stitches. So I'm going to start with the with the gray with 96 stitches the same as I explained to you and uh, I will be making the nice uh, stitch on the on the edges on the sleeves I'm planning on the sleeves I will divide this by two to make the sleeve and on the edges instead of me knitting the purl stitch I will knit this with this yarn and top would be this yarn so <laughs> stay tuned and the yarn is ready and I will be starting to knit that as soon as possible. You can see my Kool-Aid in there, how I dye my yarn when I have the time. Okay, so I'm back here again. Grab if you are a large, extra large, two extra large, three extra large. Grab eight balls of yarn and then Grab eight balls of yarn and cast on 96 stitches and we will start knitting the cardigan. Okay, so I, uh, I took a picture and I will post this just before to give you an idea how, to, how many 96 stitches to cast on and divide the body parts. Just like this. And this tutorial that we're going to be, you are going to be knitting. I would say an ad advanced good knitter can knit this. <laughs> Even uh, like I've been knitting 38 years, I, I get, I learn something every day. Let's point it that way. So there's always ways to learn. And I did um, block it. Because I noticed this for some reason when you knit right, this border always in, like it gets d decreased, like it looks weird. And as soon as you block it, give it a little bit steam. And I uh, I put a little bit of water. I don't wash it. I should wash it actually. Put it in water, but I don't. Um, I will do that on this yarn I, that Abigail gave me. So. Uh, yeah, and uh, I blocked it. So I noticed this was shorter than this, like about this long. But as soon as I put the button balls, put the button holes and the buttons on, and then blocked it, see, it looks equal. Big difference. Yeah, so I hope you like this tutorial and a lot of information to fit it in 25 minutes. So let's get started on this next tutorial that I will be working on. I will show you how to knit two different stitches. And uh, so let's get started. And uh, don't if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do like it, share it with your family and friends, your knitting people, your knitting friends, and happy happy knitting. <laughs>